hi guys welcome back to my channel quack to my new machine so for today's reaction video we're gonna be reacting to city girl jt this is pet Nicki minaj and says that megan is better Nicki minaj pens letter to fans okay but before we get started you guys already know i have been complaining actually not complaining but i've been stating a fact which is most of you guys watching my reaction videos are not subscribed to my channel so what are you waiting for don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below the notification bell on so i can get notified every time i upload a new video and do not forget to follow me on my social media platforms instagram twitter snapchat and tiktok the links will be in the description box down below for your convenience i also have a second channel links down below as well and yeah let's get started Hi guys and welcome back to Black Tea, it's your girl Ebony and you guys already know that your girl is back with the mess. Now this will be a Black Tea short where I provide you a celebrity gossip topic in just under 3-6 to six minutes. So let's talk about Nicki Minaj making her return. One of the things that I've been appreciating with this channel is the fact that the tea is literally less than 10 minutes, okay? Like just now she mentioned 3-6 to six minutes, which is true but normally when someone's tea is over 10 minutes, if I react to it, that's because I really, 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 really like the topic. Because sometimes pushing it to 10 minutes is a bit too much. Like, can you just make it cute and simple so everybody watching the video is not going to be there forever? Because you guys already know, man, people's attention span is really, really, really low. So, yeah, I really like that about this channel. We seen beat me up Scotty on streaming platforms with some new tracks. JT throwing shade at Nicki Minaj, saying that Megan Thee Stallion's good news was better than Nicki Minaj's mixtape. Then backtracking once she caught some eat, and finally Nicki Minaj finally addressing the passing of her father. So what do I think mm. about the mixtape? I think the mixtape is a staple. It's always been. You guys know Envy. I love Boss AB. I love Shy Rack. That is my ish. And you know what, you guys? I really really like seeing green i love seeing green i don't know what it is about that song but it gets me back to old nikki where she used to talk about things that bothered her and what was going on in her life i also like fractions i thought that was a very cute single in itself yeah. and i think that the mixtape was a good rendition to her coming back she is getting back in her bag now a lot of people are not as happy with the release of beanie of scotty and i think and i wonder why that's because people are used to a show. Nikki is a rapper. That's true. They are used to a show, but whole time she's a rapper, not a comedian. So she is not a clown, right? She doesn't put on a show all the time. She is a rapper, and I think at this point we need to respect that she is giving us her craft. I also like that her and Drake did get on live together, talking about writer's block, talking about some of the things that Nicki Minaj went through before re-releasing this, and I appreciated her honesty, and I thought she looked good. And you know what? I'm content with what she wrote. She did. She she did look good. <laughs> Now, JT did take to her Twitter account to say good news with a greater than sign. Now, she did not put any information, but she tweeted this exactly three minutes after Nicki Minaj released Beam Me Up Scotty Mixtape. Now, people got into her comments, one person saying this, you are still a flop, so obsessed with Nicki. Another person says this, you're still trash. Now, after this happened, JT tried to backtrack and tried to say that she was saying that there was good news for something else girl please this girl bye this is what jt had to say y'all are really weird and when y'all find out the actual good news y'all gonna feel real ishy like i swear my mind don't be in stand account mode i'm an actual person now look jt you can backtrack and lie to your followers in my opinion allegedly or whatever you want to do but you tweeted that right after the mixtape was released and you knew the type of response that you were gonna get this is my problem if you're gonna throw shots throw the shots don't exactly if you're gonna throw shades make sure you throw the shades and you also are ready to receive the backlash don't say that don't don't say something funny or shady or throw shots and when um the fans start coming for your neck that's when you want to be like no 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 no. i didn't mean that no baby stand 10 toes on your decision on what you said on what you treated on what on what you posted okay that's one thing about these people when they're ready to throw shot and they're not ready to receive the backlash like girl you should have never done it at the first place so 
Don't backtrack and subliminally throw shots at somebody. I understand that you're still mad that the feature was declined. I get it. You're mad. Move on. Where is your single? I'm still waiting for your single, but what you've been doing is you've been missing meetings for you and Miami's group. You have also been chasing around a petite man with a diamond in his forehead. So <laughs> Social media, man. Should have been chasing who? I'm tired. I'm done. Baby, you should not be talking about anybody's mixtape because you have yet to come out with a mixtape, period. This is out of line and it's corny. If you're going to be woman enough to throw shade, stand in your shade and call it how you see it. Don't backtrack exactly. and play games because that makes you look corny and for that you're... That makes you look like a clown when you do that. Throw the shot and stand on it. Or throw the shade and stand on it. Don't be afraid of the backlash or don't be afraid because people we'll cut what you meant. Sometimes... It's just better for you to just be quiet, not say nothing, no write nothing, no tweet nothing. If you know you can't stand the backlash, like, what? 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 Trash, period. Now, after this happened, several people did get into her comments to come back at her and say, wait, girl, don't backtrack now that we come in with the smoke. One person said, period. Period. This. But you decided to tweet this after, so what's good? And finally, girl, don't throw rocks and hide your hands. And I agree. I think JT was hella corny for that. And girl, if you're gonna throw shots, throw the shots and stand in it. Now, Nicki Minaj also took to Instagram to talk about the passing of her father and how she felt. It's one thing to throw the shot and then, you know, apologize for it, then lying that that's not what you meant. Because, girl, bye about that situation and how she's really not ready to talk about it because she still hasn't really processed it. This is what Nicki Minaj had to say. Though I can't really bring myself to discuss the passing of my father as yet, I can say it has been the most devastating loss of my life. I find myself wanting to call him all the time, more so now that he's gone. Life is funny that way, right? May his soul rest in paradise. He was very loved and will be very missed. I can't wait to share these new vibes with y'all. It's so important to always go back to the basics. For me, the world of smoke and mirrors can blind you, but be careful. Always important to step back and just really observe. Look beyond what people are saying and look at their intent. Sit back and decipher what they really meant. Still applies, but not only in what people say, but also in what they do. There has to be more to this, right? Anyway, it's been a minute since I wrote a letter, and I know how much you guys Aww. love them. I love you dearly. Miss you so much. Thank you for everything, Nicki Minaj. So as you guys see, she did Aww. write a very nice letter to her fans, and there are other parts of this letter. They will be on my Instagram. That, that is that is a nice letter. It's sad, man. Losing, losing someone so close to you like that, like especially a parent, that's sad. My condolences goes to her and her family. That's how you see how like you brought my mood down. Like, come on, let's let's finish this up. But I want to hear from you guys down below. How are you feeling about the Be Me Up Scotty mixtape being on streaming platforms? What are you thinking about some of the down below. tracks, Crocodiles? What are you guys thinking about seeing Green, Fractions? And what do you think JT was really trying to say? Yep. Do you think JT was... Especially that. Let me know what you guys think she was really trying to say. Do you guys agree that she wasn't throwing shades or you think that she was throwing shots but she wasn't just ready to stand on it? Let me know down below. Throwing shades and if she was, why do you think she backtracked? Yes guys, like I said, just let me know what you guys think. I I think she was definitely throwing shades. I think she was throwing shots. I think she just didn't have the guts to stand ten toes on what she stated. Which is weird. It makes you look like a clown. But anyways, guys, that's the end of today's video. Let me know what you guys think down below. Once again, my condolences go to Nikki and her whole family. I hope you know, you know, she can heal and you know, and um, and and get better because losing someone so close to you is is hard. It's hard. It's a lot, especially a parent. That's that's a whole lot. Some people be like, oh. I wasn't that I, I wasn't that close to my parents, so when they passed, it didn't really affect affect me. Actually, even if it didn't affect you, it's gonna affect the fact that your kids will not get to see you know know their grandparent, you know, and just that alone. Like I didn't get to know my grandparents in my father's side, and that bothers me, you know. Even though they had a great relationship, but just that alone can bother your future children. So I just think overall, losing a parents is really is really is really painful, whether you guys had a good relationship or not, you know. Um, yeah. 
Thank you so much for watching today's reaction video. You guys know I feel so sensitive when it comes to people passing. So yeah. Whoo, let's get this mood back together, okay? But um, yeah, let me know what you guys think about, you know, City Girl, JT disrespecting Nicki Minaj and all that good stuff. And comment down below any other type of reaction you would like me to do next. And I'll make sure I do so for you. And I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.